Hi everyone, here's Big Red as promised. Oh, he <laughs> moves a lot. Oh, hang on, there he goes, there he is. <laughs> He's making a lot of fuss because just outside is Sid, who is not too impressed with another cockerel being around. They've already fronted up to each other. As you can see, Sid's um, strutting his stuff. Actually moving, let me step back a bit. Excuse me, girls. Yeah, that is Sid, who is not impressed. We've had raised tails, um, attempted chest bumping through the gate, but hopefully this is all pretty secure. So, uh, and there's the uh, chicken coop floozy. I'm actually wondering whether or not to put the two bluebells in with him just to keep him occupied until the light Sussex girls are ready to come down here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Look, they're exploring the feed bags and then over here we've got <laughs> Hello <laughs> Frizzle trying to free feed them uh, bits of twig. I haven't seen any treading going on but the good news is Lily over there, the little Wyandotte, um, has started squatting when I go to pet her or pick her up which is a good sign I, I'm guessing um, so hopefully with spring just around the corner you never know there might be a chance of some uh, little frizzled lilies that would be so cute <laughs> I don't know if you'd actually get frizzled lilies I have no idea but that would be just the cutest thing ever and then oh, we've got the boys setting off cock a doodle -doo. Anna. Girls are exploring. It's actually raining a little bit here. But what I really wanted to show you guys was Ta -da! Ta -da! this is where the pig was. Shadow, my friend's pig. She's also the lady that owns this field. <laughs> um, and oh my god, I just I don't know where to start because I've got all that right up to you see the water trough up there. And then everything, the other side of this electric fence, all this, there's some compost heap up there in the back. Um, I've got to move those bramble cuttings and the plastic, that, so that's, yeah, so, all that that you can see, hang on, let me do, if I put the top of the camera there, right, all this that you can see here is mine <laughs> well not actually mine god that would be nice but um for now i'm happy with so happy i'm like a pig in well you know <laughs> um and then that little bit over there i'm still not quite sure what to do with i cut, cut down all the brambles and i've got logs and i think i think i'm gonna um grow yes thank you red good boy I think I'm going to grow mushrooms on those logs. I'm going to leave them where they are. And uh, then I dug over. Ah, oh, hello. Bless. Good girly. That is, uh, that's lunch. Yes, I have three called breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> I don't eat them though. <laughs> um, and I just, as a test, I just dug this little bit over. This is where I actually broke my fork because there was a big piece of wood stuck under there. But uh, yeah, so oh my god, so so exciting. Um, I'm going to do a bit of straw bale gardening, although I'm not going to dig it into the soil um, this year, probably not next year either because the soil is uh, mostly clay, so with quite a bit of stones in it. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait to get started on this. Um, there's an, a natural dip in the soil just in the middle over there um, and it fills with water regularly so I'm thinking uh, 
duck pond or duck splash or something I don't know something anywhere or either that or sink I've got a little tank that I can sink into it well say little it's uh it's probably about five six foot long by about two foot deep so I was thinking of sinking it in there and uh, with the water running in naturally when it rains I mean obviously I'll have to clean it out probably two three four five six seven eight nine ten times a day <laughs> but hey they're ducks you know they're gonna like it whatever it is as long as there's mud and water so uh, yeah that's my little update from uh, the uh, developing Cat and Jack's little patch of heaven and from breakfast that's breakfast breakfast and the rest of the gang <laughs> what are you doing up there <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> and I'm gonna leave Sid and the girls to uh, their day and hopefully Sid and Red will just stop with this whole testosterone chest popping thing and just get on with life. Sid, life's way too short, my darling, and you have millions of girlies. Okay, right. Well, that's it from uh, Captain Jack's Little Patch of Heaven. A noisy one at the moment. And we will catch up with you shortly. Goodbye.